Hello. I'm going to start with the second lesson of the computer programming. Uh, the first, I already explained about the syllabus, and today I'm just giving the introduction why we need to learn programming and why we need to learn Java. Okay. So I already defined the section for this in the four. So what is programming? Why learning programming? Programming languages and why Java? Okay. Oops, I still have not changed this to 2020. Okay. So what is programming? So someone said that the programming is the future of computing. Okay. So if you understand how to do programming, you can handle programs. Yeah? But before we learn more about the programming, we need to understand the basic concept. Yeah? Programming, it means we need to start from programs. What is programs? A program is a set of instructions for a computer to follow. Let's say, have you been to ATM? You know, ATM, automated teller machine. So if you go to bank, maybe you want to get the money. You want to withdraw some money or you want to deposit your money. Okay? You will go to a teller. But now they have the ATM, automated teller machine. In the automated teller machine, you can just automatically withdraw your money. You can automatically deposit your money. Yeah. And how the ATM works for everyone? Of course, they have the procedure. We have the instruction. So the instruction in the ATM, we call it a program. So if the instruction is a collection or the instruction is already accumulated into one item, then we can call it as a program. You know, email, word processors, or video games, anything. Okay? We call them as a program. Following the instruction is called running or executing the program. So when we execute the program, then the instruction can be followed. Okay? So for example, if you are using Microsoft Word, okay, you are using word processors. So if you are, it is a program. It is a program to type something. It is a program to type an article it is a program to type a code okay. when you type something and then you want to save then it means you are executing a program to save when you want to print then you are executing a program to print okay. so you need to make those program to work to do something if you your if you have your video game okay like say you have the xbox or yeah you have the nintendo and etc it's also a program they understand what you are going to instruct if you press start then the game will start if you press left right up down then it will follow your instruction or in the web you know, for example if you go to the program in your internet so if you access one program in the cloud the program will do something for you it means yeah they already have the program inside that cloud yeah. so all the programs are a set of instruction so what is programming then if you are revisiting the terminology of program it is a set of instruction to be carried out by a computer then if you are going to execute the program it is the act of getting the instruction contained in the program so when you have a lot of instruction then the program execution wants to execute one by one of the instruction then the programming language is a systematic set of rules used to describe the competition in a format that is editable by human so you can type, you can write, you can read the programming language because it is a human-based programming. The normally, okay, normally a computer receives two kind of input. So we can 
uh, give the input pro as a program. So when you have an, a program to run something and then the program can be an input for another program or you can have data. Okay? So the data can be anything. So the data can be, for example, if you want to run your Google Mail, then you need to input your Google ID and your password. So it means they need your data. Okay. So the output is the result produced by following instruction in the program. Let's say you have the input like keyboard, optical pen, joystick, scanner, barcode reader. So the input can be anything like text, movement, scan document, digital detection. And what about the output? So it depends on the tool like headphones, headset, printer, screen, plotter, speakers. Okay. So those kind of output resemble the output that you want to have, like the audio or report paper or in a kind of display. So the tool can be like digital camera or pen drive, touch screen, CD, DVD, webcam, fax, modem. So those tools are the tool that have a program. So the program will do the instruction and based on the input, they will generate the output. The basic idea is input, output, and there's a program in the middle. And of course, when you are doing the programming language, it depends on the operating system. Yeah. So what is operating system? The operating system is a supervisory program that oversees the operation of the computer. Yeah. So the, when you have the operating system, it will have a relation. How can you retrieve the program? How can you start the program? So the operating system can be the determination to operate your program in a proper way. For example, you have your program in Microsoft Windows. There might be some limitation when you run your program in Mac. You have your program in Android. Of course, it has limitation to run the program in Linux. Okay? So different operating system will have different way to run the program. So some examples of the operating system are this one, Ubuntu, Mac, Windows, Android, iOS, Linux, Zen, Debian, Chrome. So those operating system have different ways to access the program. Then the programming language is a way to understand how can you apply the program into the operating system. Let's say you have <clears throat> its operating system will be based on the low level programming languages. Yeah. So the low level programming languages is the machine language, something that we cannot understand. So for example, this one, the low level programming language consists of the binary, like the one zero one 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 zero zero blah blah blah. Yeah. When you have those uh, numbers or the binary, the computer can understand it. So they will execute this number into something. Of course, as a human, we cannot just type one zero one 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 zero one zero one one zero zero one one zero. We cannot understand those. So we need <coughs> to have the high level programming language. What is high level programming language? It is a language that is understandable by human. So high level language is a language that easily read and written by humans and it's needed to be translated before a machine can use it. Yeah. So when we type something in the human sense, for example, print. So I want the computer to print something. Before the computer can do something, there's a process, we call it compilation. Compilation is a process to translate the high level language into machine language for platform specific languages. A program called a compiler does this. It means, you know, when you are doing with Java, then there's a compiler, a Java compiler. And if you're doing on Mac, it will have a different result when you do it on Windows. When you use Java and when you run your program in Android, it will have a different result when you run your program in Ubuntu.
Yeah. So the programming language is just a matter of the human language and the compilation, which is the compilation to the low level programming language, it will depend on the operating system. And okay, don't worry. This is just a concept, okay? So you will learn about the high level language. You will learn how can you is as a human to type the languages so when you execute your language the computer can understand it so the high level languages are relatively easy to use yeah i know you may have heard from your senior that uh, it's not easy to learn programming languages but i would like to say that uh, uh, high level languages have been developed for the humans it means human can understand, human can try to read, human can try to write. Java, C Sharp, Visual Basic, Python, Ruby. There are some of the high level languages that have been widely used by programmers. Okay? And the computer hardware does not understand the high level language. So you, uh, I already explained to you the compilation. Okay? So the compilation is the translation from the high level language into the lower level language so the machine or the cpu can understand it so if you learn about c okay, c is one of the language that is related to the lower level language almost related to low level language so the lowest one is the assembly language so we will not learn about this one but it just is for your information that if you learn c then you are almost uh, approaching the machine. Okay. Now, the question is, why do we need to learn programming? It's tough, okay? it's difficult. Yeah. But I just want to say that it's the future of computing. Okay? All the things in the world now has been connected and all the connections are related to programming. So if you know how to do the programming then you can connect all those items. The future computing, okay? In 2018, they have the term storage for all. So how can you manage a storage for every item? So the cloud has been developed, but in 2021, it has been changing to robot and services. In 2022, they, we hope that the Internet of Things and Internet for Things, it will be the popular word. And wearable internet, 3D printing, and manufacturing, those are the popular in 2022. And you can see by the time, there are a lot of things that will be in the future. And most of them are related with a program. 3D printing, driverless cars, AI, digital making, smart city, Bitcoin, etc. So the future of computing, they require programming languages. Okay. In America, okay, this is the US space data. So the total job opening for computing has a very huge demand. But the bachelor's degrees awarded is not that much. Okay? So it is a data from 2012 until 2022. So the pub actually is the sum of the data are the real data and some of the data has been assimilated. Okay? So if you check from this one, the yellow part is the total job openings. The orange part is the number of graduates. So you can see there are a lot of demands, but there's very less of graduates. How about the engineering? There, the job opportunity has been lower, but there are many graduates. What about the physical science? Physical science also the same. The, the job opportunity is very low. The number of graduates is also higher than the job opportunity. Life science is also more than what we expect. The job opportunity is very less, but the graduate, the bachelor degrees awarded is so huge. So how can they survive with the uh, job? Of course, they need to know something more in order to get a good job. Okay? So the computing is still uh, relevant for the 
worldwide not only in us but of course in korea yeah i cannot get the data in korea but i guess you know already that the computing is one of the popular terms that you need to learn in the school okay you can see in the elementary school in the middle school and in the high school so they already settled down with a very basic software education yeah so the minister of education they already set up a kind of milestones so does elementary student the middle school student the high school student they can learn programming from the beginning because the human resource is the most important uh, aspect for a country development especially in south korea <clears throat> and you can see this one in america in england in france in israel they promoted the coding they promoted the software education as one of the basic or one of the core in the education especially for the elementary middle school and high school and nowadays there are many companies this is a uh, diverse opportunities inside from the uh, in in 2019 there's a newspaper cv insights they try to survey all the companies related to ai the artificial intelligence so if you check this one all the companies are related with the program so you need to understand the computer programming and once you know what at least one computer programming language you will have a lot of opportunity for your future so there are also some questions why we need to learn java yes there are a lot of other programming languages but why java okay so i will explain a little bit about why java this is one of the person who gave the joke which language will you use so someone said Perl is versatile Perl is one programming language eh? and c++ is also another programming language is fast and powerful and delphi is a neat and well structured okay anyone can write phoebe have you heard phoebe phoebe is a visual basic okay. Um, C sharp, okay. C sharp is managed and modern. Yeah. So among those answers, yeah, you know, people, uh, some people, not some people, but many people still say that Java is good for a job, especially in US and you know, Europe. Of course, there is a shifting now because Python has been very popular in data science, but Java still is uh, relevant for uh, application development okay in 2019 uh, java has been awarded as the most in demand programming languages by indeed.com in job posting in usa so this uh, kind of uh, information will be very helpful for you to understand why we need to learn java of course you can say that python is very popular too yes i know or javascript is very popular yes there it is but learning java of course it will be beneficial for you and it's just a kind of language once you know how to do with java of course it will be not difficult for you to understand another programming languages java is platform independent so when you install in mac when you install in window when you install in android yeah it's no problem but it will be different if you are using objective c objective c is a kind of programming language that is very particular for swift or for the apple so if you want to use the objective c in windows it will have many things to do you need to adjust some kind of uh, connector so you can run the objective c in windows simplicity hmm, maybe you can say that oh it's not simple yeah but among the other programming languages i can say that java is simple 
if you learn assembly language, it's not that simple. Java is open source, so you can use for free. There are many intelligent IDE. So IDE is the integrated development environment. And ease of use, okay, when you have the IDE, it will, it's not that difficult. Flexibility, so you can use in mobile, you can use in things, you can use in web, you can use in desktop, okay. It's flexible. And there are many rich API. When you have the Java, it's not that difficult to connect with the API. There are many skilled resources. So when you connect to internet, then you can get a lot of information about Java. If you face an error in your development, there will be many people who share the how to solve that problem. Documentation is also very well established. It's very important to learn programming language with a good documentation and cost effective. So when you know Java, it's not that costly when you develop kind of desktop application and etc. Internet of Things. So nowadays the internet has been developed more and more. So the Internet of Things become a popular word. So when you have the Internet of Things, Java can be connected easily. Okay. There's a YouTube, you can check the YouTube. Okay. This is about the Internet of Things in Java. And Java and things. Okay. Do you know that all the things are running in Java? Like copy machine. Okay. Or you know, some ADM, modem, router, desktop. So it, you know the chip inside your desktop. There's a chip that you need to write in Java. And driverless car. The driverless car also have the Java component inside. Okay. So there are a lot of things that you can uh, apply when you know Java. So you, once you know Java, you can just try to adopt some application and you can embed the Java in that application. This is also very important. Java and Android are close. So once you know Java, you can easily understand how Android works and the structure of Android is based on Java. <clears throat> how can you develop the class? How can you develop the variable? How can you develop the uh, abstract class? And how can you modify the XML to connect with the Java? <clears throat> so it's very easy <clears throat> to connect to the mobile application once you know Java. And there are many applications that you already use Java. If you know eBay, LinkedIn, Amazon, Google, Google use Java and Gmail as a backend. And there are also many other like uh, startups, Travelkana, TripAdvisor, Booking.com, they're using Java. So if you say that, oh, Java is very complicated. Yeah, I know. If you, it is complicated at first time. But once you already know Java, then you can use it in many companies, in many big companies, because they use Java. And the IDE, the Integrated Development Environment, we are going to use Eclipse. So why we use Eclipse? First, it's open source. And there are many companies. Okay, you can see this are the companies. They develop their own uh, IDE based on Eclipse. Eclipse is the basis, and they develop their own IDE for their company. For example, Arctic IDE based on Samsung. I guess it's not on, it's not in the public anymore, but it's very useful to understand this one. The, sum, the Arctic IDE is the Samsung based uh, IDE. It is from the Eclipse and they modify it to fit with the Samsung company. And they use it in a Samsung uh, company for development, some kind of the yeah, chip or any other programs in the company. <clears throat> so they have their own IDE to develop program. Amazing one. Right? This is also the same with other company. They try to match the IDE for the company requirement. So the Eclipse is very useful. So once you know the Eclipse, it will be very easy to embed or very easy to extend it. 
to a particular domain. So, yeah, this is one of the things that you may know, you might learn at the first time. Okay? Uh, the world's strongest man contest. Okay, you can see in the left figure. Yeah, okay. This is about the contest, and the judges give good uh, score five, two, and six for this man because he can lift a very huge rocks. Okay, what about this? Okay, this guy can lift a very heavy uh, weight, and then okay, the just just gave eight, seven, and six. Yeah. What about him? Oh, he's very very strong. Why? Oh, the judges give 10, 10 and 10. <clears throat> Why? He can code without Google. <laughs> I don't use Google when coding. Oh, it's very strong. Okay. So it means when you are doing with the when you are doing a computer programming, of course you need help. Don't worry. Just check on Google. Every time you have error, check Google. Every time you have problems check on the stack overflow they are very powerful they give you a lot of information so you can have uh, some helps when you can contact me of course i can be available for you but i will not be available for 24 hours okay and for very simple error i hope that you can trace back or you can check on your uh yeah google on the internet because simple errors is not that difficult for you to solve but if you have any difficult errors then i will try to help you with your errors so yeah i will just want to refresh that by the end of the course you will write a medium scale program to solve real problem so you need to think about the final project like the yeah, business game, the serious business game that you want to develop, or yeah, some other things that you want to develop. Just let me know. If I approve with your proposal, then you can just proceed with that one. You need to know some kind of problems computers that can solve, and I hope that you can make a beautiful code. What is beautiful code? Is just related with the how can you make a tidy code, okay. And how can you write the uh, develop a simple application or program with input and output? You know the input and how you can produce the output. Okay. So that's all for this course. So I will explain about the next about the uh, simple Java with Eclipse. So see you.